I feel small for some reason with this setup. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this week's video, which is gonna be a short one. And if I didn't dislike shorts so much, I would make this short, but I just quickly want to show you how to use this Polaroid 545i back on a 4x5 camera like my Intrepid 4x5. Now, the first thing that you want to notice is that there is a switch right here that switches between L and P. There's also an R over here on the P side. To start off, you wanna have it on the L for load and you're basically just going to take your instant film, which in this case, I have some type 55 um, Polaroid stuff. Right here, it says this side towards lens. So that's going to be in the opening right here. Now you just want to do this gently and avoid touching this area where the chemicals are. So just kind of go down below and above until it slides in. Now, once it's all the way down and secured, there is a little latch down here on the bottom that it's going to catch on. So the next time you pull this out, it's going to reveal and show the film. So moving over to our 4x5 camera, which in this case is the Intrepid Mark IV, assumedly we've already set up our shot, we've used the ground glass and we have it focused and set. So once everything is done and set, you're going to pull down on these two lever things and that's going to help you remove the ground glass. So now that we've taken the ground glass off, we'll just set it to the side. All we have to do now is align our back and then these little side notches get moved in instead of the ground glass holders. And when you slide those in, that's the graph locks back, you're good to go. So as long as your lens is closed and your camera is light tight, you can now, with the lever still over here on the load side, you can now pull the film all the way up until it stops. You'll feel it stop going right there. What that's done is that's revealed the Polaroid, the actual film inside the back, so that when you take your exposure, the shutter's gonna open, it'll imprint just like normal. And then you can go ahead and push this down. And that's it. At that point, you can unhook the back because as you can see, the film is now covered again. So at this point, you've got two options. You can A, switch the lever over to the P for process. And what that's gonna do is it's going to release the little notch down here and allow you to fully pull out the shot and it will use the rollers to spread the chemicals over and start the process. Or you can just hold down this button right here, which is the R button for release. What that's gonna do is it's gonna unhook the bottom and allow you to pull the film all the way out without spreading the chemicals. It doesn't engage the the rollers at that point. So this is an exposed sheet if you've done it correctly. And you can now take this home and develop everything at once by sticking it back into the holder with the load and then using the process button to spread the chemicals all over the sheet. So to wrap up, the only caveat or little Additional information I'd like to leave with you is that most of this Type 55 film or whatever, if you're shooting this old Polaroid film, it's expired and it's been expired for quite some time. And so you're going to want to err on the side of overexposure, but also keep in mind there is a high probability that the chemicals don't work or that it hasn't been stored correctly or carefully and you might not get the picture that you're hoping for. But that is a big part of the appeal with instant film is that expired look that really gives you unique, awesome results if that's what you're going for. So I hope this video is helpful to someone. Thank you guys for watching. I have another short video coming out in a few days that is me packing for my trip to New York. So until then, we'll see you later.